I also find it really funny that they hired a a woman who literally looks I almost identical to Ben Shapiro to be on Ben Shapiro's channel and to basically just be like a Ben Shapiro hype lady. Uh, her name is like, what's her name? Like her name is like Brandon with a Y, a uh, Bumble Bumblekin, Brett Brambin, Brett. Brett Cooper. <laughs> okay, I wasn't that close. For some reason, I thought it was like Brandon something. It's Brett Cooper, which is really funny. It's super ironic that they hired a they hired a a person who literally looks like Ben Shapiro, like started the most intense HRT reg regimen possible, and who's also named Brett Cooper. I just. I found that very funny, okay? I found that very funny. Um, but also, her reactions are like, it, it's like she's trying her best to do a Ben Shapiro impersonation, and it's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. How does she feel being super trad and being named Brett? Is she super trad? Is she actually super trad or does she just do that? Does she just play somebody who cares about super trad stuff on TV? Is that something you'll find a lot? Is that a lot of these, uh, a lot of these like people who are hired to talk about that stuff in their personal life, they don't live that way at all. I find her, I find her videos uh, almost, un almost unwatchably insufferable. Um, they, they are so, they are so manufactured. There's like a video where she'll just be like, She'll watch a video. I think there's one of her reacting to Vosh or something, and she's just like, like really loudly hits the space button and then goes, what's up with that? And it's like she's doing an impersonation of a streamer. I'm just like, have you, have you ever, like, again, maybe it's just, maybe the Daily Wire has just like a problem with actually getting people who can react organically to things. Um... Now I feel like I want to watch a, a reaction. I want to react to like, God, the Brett. Oh, her channel is called the react, the comment section. Yeah, this is literally just anti-trans, 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 anti-trans. Anti-trans. Uh, I don't know about this, but I'm gonna guess it's anti-trans. Is your college cucked? Uh, anti-trans. Anti-trans. Well, it's Michael Knowles, so I'm gonna guess this is probably anti-trans as well. Oh, here's an anti-trans one. Here's not an anti-trans one, but so this one's not anti-trans. Gen Z is too soft for friends. Okay, so that's just like boomer core. Anti-gay in generally. Let's find out. Let's do is your college cucked. Okay, let's let's do let's not do one of the anti-trans ones. Let's do this one. Let's do the is your college cucked one, okay? Cuz that seems that seems kind of fun. Brett Cooper, we all know that basically everything in the modern world is either you know racist or offensive in some way shape or form and that obviously exists in academia as well we know that grammar is racist the act and the sat perpetrate racism in white you said it you said it you said it lady i guess i guess so i guess you're right i guess everyone does know that for sure supremacy in some way the law school lsat is getting eliminated because it is also racist and of course for the past hold on is the lsat Cancel? Did they cancel the LSAT? No, hold on. Hold on, let's find out. Beginning in the fall of 2025, law student applicants may be able to skip the formidable task of studying for and taking the LSAT. That is when the American Bar Association will no longer obligate applicants to their accredited law schools to take this or any other standardized admissions test. So in 2025, so, well, 
I guess she wasn't lying about it going away. Wait, may eliminate. Hold on a second, hold on a second. This is from last year, hold on a second. A committee within the bar, American Bar Association recommended late last month that law schools eliminate the requirement of a valid and reliable admission test as part of the admission process. Its memo added, however, law schools, of course, remain free to require a test if they wish. Okay, so they're not getting rid of the LSAT. They're just saying that it's not a mandatory part of all admissions into ABA official admissions process. And also, this is not, it's not, okay, here we go, right here. The decision to adopt the standard is not final. This is a committee, the committee's recommendation will be further discussed at a council meeting later this month. Okay, so, but it was definitely because of wokeness, guys. Everybody, did you see that? Did you see how they said it was being canceled because of wokeness? Last few years, professors have been claiming that just grading students in general is racist. Everything is racist! And now that is because for the past few years, professors have been claiming that just grading students in general is racist. Everything is racist. And now. <laughs> that is from that is a meme from 2014. The, the, that song is a meme from 2014, and the editing <laughs> is terrible! Did they even try? The Daily Wire absolutely has money, and this is the best they can get! And now, that is becoming mainstream, and very, very quickly. <laughs> God, it must be so embarrassing. I mean, I guess, I guess this is like, I guess doing like the Brett Cooper thing is like, it's like more, it's like being paid to embarrass yourself on a daily basis. Right? Like, I don't know. It's like a certain type of clown. If there was a type of clown that just like every single day their job was to go out into public and then poop themselves in public, that would be the type of work that Brett Cooper is in, right? Like where you know your video is going to be riddled with boomer memes from 2014 with no effort put into them whatsoever. And all you have to do is just read the script and then clock out at the end. Oh my God, let's continue. We're gonna talk about that today. Before we do though, you guys know the drill. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already and well, just a few days ago. To help students adapt, some colleges are eliminating grades. Why? But I ask again, why? Interesting. Let's just dive right. Why does she look so much like Shapiro? I don't know. I do not know why they did that. Like, I, I don't think like her facial structure is that similar to Ben Shapiro, but it's like she has makeup that makes her look more like Ben Shapiro and she styles herself like Ben Shapiro, but with, uh, with flowers. It's very, it's very weird. Right into this, I'm going to read most of the article to you guys. They start off with a quote and a bit of an anecdote from a student. She says, I had to learn how to balance my finances. I had to learn how to balance work and school and the relationship I'm in. The hardest part about being a new college student is not the coursework, it's learning how to be an adult. That took a toll on her grades. I didn't do well, said Malak, who's a student, who powered through and is now in her sophomore year as a neuroscience and literature double major at the University of Santa Cruz or UCSC. It took a while for me to detangle my sense of self-worth from the grades that I was getting. It made me consider switching out of my major a handful of times. Now, obviously, this is a smart kid. All the UC schools are very good. A neuroscience and literature double major, that is a feat in itself. This person is not an idiot. But like, guys, this is also just an advertisement for homeschooling. Traditional schools are failing. Huh? Homeschooling for neuroscience and literature double major? Huh? How do you homeschool for that? Homeschooling is like a thing that people talk about for for middle school and high school, not neuroscience. What do you what is this talking about? Did she who wrote this script for her?
telling students you can't manage <laughs> yeah the only people who can study neuroscience and literature are people who happen to be born into a family that has a mother who is a neuroscientist and a father who is a literature major what the fuck <laughs> your time you've had such a crutch throughout high school that you cannot concentrate on coursework while having a life that's a problem and this is not you just you just said that she's a double major in 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 neuroscience and literature do you think that maybe that course load might be what she's talking about especially because in the article that you just read aloud she specifically said that trying to juggle a double major and her own financial issues with school was what led to that this is so i don't even why would you choose this to rant about it just makes you sound like a stupid asshole like a new problem i remember seeing this when i started at ucla and i you know came in i was younger than everybody else because i had graduated early and my peers were totally flailing they had no idea how to get to class on time no idea how to do oh, yeah. coursework independently the idea of having a job everyone was an idiot but you a classic story uh, and going to school at the same time was overwhelming they couldn't believe that i had a job they couldn't even like figure out how to do their damn laundry it's not new this has been going on for a long time but anyway the article goes on and it says experiences like these are among the reasons behind a growing movement to stop assigning conventional a through f letter grades to first year college students and sometimes upperclassmen called quote ungrading the idea is meant to ease the transition to higher education especially for freshmen who are the first in their families to go to college or who weren't well prepared for college level work in high school and need more time to master it like our society wait but this already happens this this is already a thing that happens there are a, a ton of courses that are pass fail. This has been a thing for like ever, for as long as, as long as colleges have existed, there are some courses that don't do a numerical grade. They are a simple pass fail. You either show up on time to the class and you pass the class or you don't. Uh, for example, many science Many hard science labs are not specifically graded because it, they don't, they're not grading your, your ability to do an experiment. They're grading the fact that you're showing up to the lab to learn how to do the experiences. Like pass fail is very common. Now that doesn't mean that it's appropriate for all cases, but no one in this article that she's getting very, very triggered about um, and calling people cucked over is saying that all classes need to not be graded they're just saying there are some classes that probably don't need a a through f grading system and that it might actually help people learn more but again another thing that you'll always notice about these like conservative outrage merchants um is that they never actually care about the thing that they're claiming to give a shit about um like for example in this particular case uh, 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 Brett over here, um, doesn't actually care what helps kids learn more, what helps these college kids succeed better. Even though that's what the article is literally talking about. It's talking about how to actually ensure that people learn better and succeed in college so that they don't drop out, so that you have people finish their degree and succeed. But she's getting mad because apparently this is wokeism a cucked wokeism, which is a little bit odd to me. Is getting dumber by the day and academics are literally facilitating it. We found that generically positive symbols work just fine. And they help you avoid lawsuits. Ding, ding. When you go to college, it's not supposed to be e Where was the lawsuit mentioned? This is, the, do you, okay. Do you guys remember last stream? and every single stream where I have to talk about conservatives, where I, I pointed out the fact that, um, that conservatives live in a complete fantasy world, like that they may as well literally believe that they are a dwarf uh, and they're about to go fight orcs. They, it would actually be so much better for the world if, if, they, if, like, Lord, if, if, if they were trapped in the Lord of the Rings, if conservatives woke up every morning and believed they were going on an adventure with Gandalf, it would be a much better world. Um, because the fantasy world that they live in now, they will take an article 
and they will just build a fantasy around it. The article is like about a, a double major who is saying that like, hey, have, like, having to juggle finances, um, strict grading on courses that don't really need it, and a double major is really hard. And like, then this, this person, this fucking streamer wannabe just kind of like, pops in and is like, oh, America's getting dumber because of lawsuits. It's like, wait, there's no lawsuit here. Like no lawsuit is mentioned. There's no wokeness mentioned. There's nothing. It's just talking to kids and talking about their struggles in school. And apparently that's too much. Apparently that's just out of line and they need to invent like a, a convoluted backwards way of thinking this is a bad thing. Okay. Easier. You're supposed to be challenged. You're supposed to be taking the next step. Now, arguably, a lot of the college classes I took were super easy just because the subjects were kind of ridiculous. It is supposed to advance you. It's a higher level of education. It is a challenge in itself. Like, it's absurd that this entire thing is being built around these anecdotes of kids going to college and focusing on their boyfriends and being an adult and having to learn how to manage their time rather than your huh? classes. You should. That's not what it said. That's not even what it, this is literally, this is literally boomer bait. It's just, ow, these stupid, stupid college whores are focusing on their boyfriends. Already know how to do that at 18 years old. Maybe that's insane for me to say. Maybe I'm asking too much. I don't know. You guys can. Maybe if you spent a little more time focusing on your boyfriend in college, you wouldn't be running a boomer bait channel where you wear a fucking 1776 necklace uh, because you're you you want to jerk off the fucking founding father so much. Maybe you would have had like a normal adult development, and you wouldn't have gotten like caught pretending to be an 87 year old man. Uh, uh, in your Daily Wire TV show. Yeah, fucking massive no boyfriend energy. Let me know, but I feel like those are skills that you should be able to learn as a young adult in high school. Yeah, maybe, maybe if more came back in my day, we did what we needed to. Everyone was stupid except for me back in my day, except for all the stupid courses the liberals made me take. This all just screams, I'm not prioritizing the right thing. If you do not have- Why does she have the most appalling drip? A good question. Perhaps if she had had a boyfriend in college or a girlfriend, I don't want to judge, maybe she's gay. Um, if you're gay, maybe a girlfriend instead. Uh, maybe if you'd had one of those, you wouldn't have such absolutely atrocious drip. Time to focus on your classwork. If you do not have time to study, you are saying, I'm not prioritizing it. You can say that about anything in your life. I've said it a lot. It's something that I- try to practice not only just preach in my life if you don't have time for something if you're failing at something because you're not allocating time it's because it's not a priority All ah yes yes that's true so when when uh you know when parents don't have enough time uh uh to to ha to like i don't know take care of all the paperwork they have to do or all the other shit that's thrown on them it must be because they're not prioritizing it i don't know that's so dumb you're not prioritizing the right thing. She majored in English literature. Wait, is that true? Did she say that? Did she say that she, hold on. What did she major in? She did. She's a major in English literature. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You can't make this shit up. These people are always the biggest frauds. She's a lib. She's a cut lib. She and she 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 majored in underwater basket weaving. Also, a lot of this falls on parents. Teach your kids how to manage their time because high school will not do that. Teach them how to manage their finances because school will not teach them that. We know that. Teach them how to cook and grocery shop and teach them how to dress themselves, which apparently you didn't learn in high school. Teach them uh, how to not. Uh, buy objectively terrible headphones for their studio show, which apparently you didn't learn in homeschool either. Do their laundry because school will not teach them how to do that. When they go to college, they're going to be flailing around. There are tangible ways to fix this problem rather than just. By the way, twenty bucks. Uh, twenty bucks says Brett Cooper smells like shit. <laughs> moving grading make them get a job in high school so they have a is it mom is it mom who does her laundry or does she not do her laundry 
commitment and a responsibility and they learn early how to balance work and academics. I saw this tweet about ungrading. You guys just need to look at the username. Ray, still here, still queer, still trans and non-binary. So we know what we're getting into. She, I think, said ungrading is not coddling. Ungrading is practicing reflexivity. Oh no, wait, we got to the transphobia section. Remember how I said, let's pick one of the videos that wasn't transphobia? I hope you guys recognize that the Daily Wire's entire business model is completely a, ma a, a hugely funded media corporation. Entire job is to make fun of, of uh, 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 is to like target and make fun of and stigmatize like less than what what they, they claim is less than half of a percent of the population, but we know is approximately 1% of the population. In absolutely incredible. Around measurement, meaning making and power. When's the last time your faculty had an honest conversation about what grades mean and how they function and where power fits into that? What is why would why is she reading it in the dumb voice? There's nothing here that even would remotely indicate like I don't know, I guess that's what you do. I guess that's the thing. You need to make a funky voice so that your so your audience gets the symbol that it's bad. That this is a bad and dumb person. Instead of just like reading the words and and judging them on their own merits, instead you need to make the dumb voice because obviously anybody who's like listening I mean, let's be real. We know that Brett Cooper is being like played in the background of like uh, uh, a, a, a a room of like uh, eighty plus fucking uh, retired truckers, all of whom used to be members of the fucking Ku Klux Klan. Uh, none of them can even hear words anymore, and so they're just hearing this sort of noise in the background. But they hear the funny voice, and they know this is bad. Is that what does that even mean? It sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. Like, what does that tweet? Mean. Should, should we go through it? Ungrading is not coddling. That's pretty straightforward. That claims ungrading is not coddling in this person's opinion. Ungrading is practicing reflexivity around measurement, meaning making, and power. It means that this it, that this is uh, uh, ungrading is saying, hey, maybe we don't have to always grade somebody on a A to F scale. It's looking at these practices and analyzing them and deciding whether they're actually valuable or not. When's the last time your faculty had an honest conversation about what grades mean? <gasps> how they function and where power fits into that. Hmm. Have you considered, has your faculty sat down and decided whether they're not just being needlessly stressful and cruel to the students, whether this course could be a pass fail course, or maybe that a different grading structure is more appropriate given the, uh, giving the, given the classwork at hand. This is like a super easy, uh, uh, tweet to understand. It's a super easy tweet to steal, man. I just did it in like less than 20 seconds. But, uh, you know, Brett Cooper's highly intelligent response is uh, uh, do a stupid voice and then go, what does it even mean? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm confused. I'm dumb. I don't know how to read or think. And how they function and where power fits into that. What, what does that tweet mean? You just crammed a bunch of buzzwords into three lines and you feel really Those none, what what was the what was the bud, buzzword? None of those were buzzwords. They were fairly straightforward. They were longer words perhaps than like Brett Cooper is able to prom, uh Wait a second. She's an English lit major. Her pretending that she doesn't understand what these words mean is such a fraud. These people are all such frauds good about yourself, but you really said nothing. Anyway, back to the article. Advocates say the most important reason to adopt ungrading is that students have become so preoccupied with grades that they aren't actually learning. And now this is the one part of the entire NPR article that I can actually empathize with and that I understand. Because brainless quizzes and graded busy work can be stupid and usually it is not an accurate representation of how a student learns. But it is on... Bazinga. That's what the person you were just roasting just said. What the fuck? The professors to address this and be more creative with how they're teaching the subject and how they're grading it. The reason that you think you can So you just agree with them, but you need to call them a libtard because your job tells you you have to. You literally were mocking this person who said exactly what you said you just agreed with. 
She just said, I, I can understand. Wait, hold on, we could just play it again. Matthias with him that I understand because brainless quizzes and graded busy work can be stupid and usually it is not an accurate representation of how a student learns. But it is on the professors to address this and be more creative with how they're teaching the subject and how they're grading it. The reason that you think you can't get into college is because you haven't been taught how to cheat properly. The motivation should be to further challenge students and give them better ways to show what they're learning, not just eliminate the process altogether because the students are too stressed and the professors are too lazy to do anything other than stupid pop quizzes. That shouldn't be a controversial statement. To get some other opinions, here are a few comments. Okay, so then why are you acting like the person who just said it slightly differently than you um, is, 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 is controversial? That's literally what they said. They said it slightly differently and they're trans, so you had to go off and make fun of them for being trans from both sides of the issue one person said grades are not i agree with you 100 percent, but i am i am uh, ideologically obligated to mock you even though i literally just restated your position in slightly different words but i also, but i called you an idiot because you're liberal just for students prospective employers and postgraduate programs want to compare students and grades are one of the tools that they use again like we do need a system of standards. We still do have to have standards in academia, even though I'm in favor of making grading more creative and making the way that we teach things more creative. We still have to have standards. We still have to have a way to figure out if students are actually learning so that when they go out into the world, we know that they're actually educated. Somebody else said, grades are not indicative of future success or failure. Ungrading can unleash creativity for solutions based on innovative thinking. Some That's literally what you just said. You can't mock this lady. You cannot mock, she's gonna mock this lady, but she literally just said, we should, we should increase creativity and innovate our classes. Just two seconds ago, this fucking grifting idiot just said that, and now she's gonna roast this random lady for it. Some schools are stuck grading for and overvaluing conformity. And again, I partially agree with that, but I think it falls back on the professors and their curricula rather than the system of grading, which is not a- The professors are part of the system, you idiot in itself. There are a lot of people in the comments on this subject also talking about how art schools already do this. Like, yeah, they are art schools. I'll have a problem the moment that you start telling our future doctors that they can just explore and not being graded. Like, that's absurd. You're okay, again, you just made something up to get mad at. You're, you're, you're making a video about colleges being cucked right now, and then you made up something that isn't happening to get mad at. Oh, these people are so sad. Conservatives really are, uh, just remember everybody, anytime you start to feel a little down about the world, just remember that you could live as miserable an existence as a conservative. Not even, not even Brett Cooper herself, because obviously Brett Cooper is like making a decent paycheck uh, and has a successful channel uh, off of this, uh, off of this comment section ve venture. Uh, but, uh, just think about the viewership uh, who has to watch this and find this convincing and meaningful. Just imagine the level of just stewing frustration and anger that you have to be in to find this type of content compelling. That's assuming, of course, you know, that's once you cut out the part of the audience that is literally just sort of like sitting there hearing this noise from a distance and it's being put on to keep like grandpa shut the fuck up fellows get the grades you expected? I got straight rainbows. Though I was hoping for at least one unicorn. But anyway, back to the article. Some of the momentum behind ungrading is in response to the growing concerns about student mental health. The number of college students with one or more mental health problems has doubled since 2013, which is just sad. Teenagers said that the pressure to get good grades was their biggest cause of stress, a 2019 survey by the Pew Research Center found. Well, that also <laughs> is just very subjective because when I've looked at the mental health stats for Gen Z, the biggest stressor is the environment. So I think it's kind of a toss up on what is stressing them the most. I don't know, I don't know. Like right there, we just witnessed pure cope. Why would you even choose to cite that? I mean, we all we can all acknowledge that the Daily Wire is doing propaganda. Why would you read that section and then respond with like, "Oh yeah, that is really sad," and uh, whoa, but woke? Just just read a separate section. You're already manipulating these articles however you want to anyway. It's like stupid and incompetent. And like, yes, 
School can be stressful, but we have been handling it for generations. This is Maybe, here's a shocking thought, maybe school has gotten more stressful. Have you considered that fact? Have you considered that maybe the way that school is right now, you as somebody who is no longer in school and who's able to basically sit in your fucking gamer chair and make a stupid video, have you considered that maybe the kids who are in school now are experiencing school differently than you did, you fucking boomer? This is not new. Grading is not new. Going to college is not new. This generation has gotten soft and suddenly thinks it's too much. The education system has failed them. Their parents have failed. Oh, oh, now I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any evidence to back up this conclusion, but it's because they're pussies. Says the fucking English lit major. Fucking talk about literally graduating in fucking liberal arts degree, then saying that everybody else who's struggling through a through schooling in a pandemic is fucking cucked and and a pussy. What a bitch! Help them, and suddenly we need to tear down this entire system because it's oppressive. That's not the solution. Also, a lot of this ungrading is happening in the UC system. You're a streamer! You are one of the soft ones! You are the softest of the soft! You're sitting in your Gen Z ass looking bullshit with your fucking Beats by Dre in your bisexual lighting. You are what you hate! Which is just embarrassing in itself. I'm so proud of my school. It's so great! This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. But in addition to them, NPR goes on to discuss where all of this is happening. I'll go through this quickly. Educators at Texas Christian University, Roger Williams University in Rhode Island, Florida Gulf Coast University, Grand Valley State, New Hampshire. And Hold on, let's see. One. Uh-oh, Texas Christian University. Uh-oh, they've even... No! The Christians have gone woke! Jesus got woke! One, two, uh, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine colleges. Oh my God, everybody. Nine whole colleges have been talking about potentially redoing their grading system. The fall of Western civilization has arrived. Oh, oh, we're, it's done. Western civilization is done. Nine colleges are re and one of them is a Christian college. They're reconsidering grading. It's over. South Alabama Universities, Knox College in Illinois, Colorado College, Prince George's Community College, Howard Community College, Harrisburg Area Community College, University of Pittsburgh, Missouri State University, the University of Texas at Austin. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. These are the same one. These are the same. Some of these are the same ones. This is the one that was already listed before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven are actually doing it. Wait, hold on a second. Other faculty are trying it at University of Pittsburgh. All of these schools make information about ungrading available for faculty. This isn't even schools that have done it. This isn't even schools that have implemented it. They just make information about ungrading available so teachers can learn about it. The, oh my God, it's so pathetic. Every single time, it's just a fantasy in their own minds, tortured by their own psyche. University, Barnard College, Emory University, Baylor University, all make information about ungrading. Of is this is this lady is this lady supposed to uh, appeal to elderly boomers or is she an attempt to get zoomers to watch the Daily Wire? Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll go look at her comment section and we'll find out. It'll be a hundred different accounts all using the Zoomer avatar and then going, well, howdy doody, uh, the golly gee, this is such a great video, young lady. And, and their, their username will be Zoomer12526. I am young, 12525. Available for faculty. Now, I'll say this again. I am not against updating how we grade students and using more creative methods, especially in the liberal arts. But I cannot- So you agree with all the people that you've roasted here, but you have to roast them because... because you need to continue to maintain a uh, atmosphere of, of, of panic around the downfall of the West and the pussification of Gen Z, apparently?
support this type of ungrading due to the reasoning behind it. They are not trying to help students overcome or be challenged or even Yes, they are. You literally opened an art you opened this video with an article that explicitly said that their goal was to it was to increase the success rate, was to help people succeed at school so they can learn the stuff that they're there to learn. Instead of having uh, arbitrary numbers stop them from getting a better education, the goal is bettering the education. Succeed. They are trying to handicap them and further perpetrate this victim culture. It's just a sad fact of the modern. Nobody said anything about victim culture except for you. You're demented. You, you're insane educational system that self-esteem now takes precedence over actual learning. They're not actually solving or even addressing the root problems. They're simply slapping a band-aid on it and pushing it through because is is what is that what is that uh what is that cartoon? Hold on. What is that show called? My gym partner's a monkey. This came out in 2005. This isn't even the right... See, this is why I don't think they're trying to get to Zoomers. That was like a show for like, uh, uh, for like 10 to 12 year olds that launched in, in 2005. It's not... I mean, I guess it is for a wing of the Zoomers, but like, that's like the slightly older Zoomers, isn't it? I don't know, whatever. The demographic, uh, the demographic understanding of this show is highly questionable. It sounds accepting and progressive. Yeah, Further handicapping my generation is the last thing that we need. Like, seriously. Yeah, it's like the older Zoomers that would have watched that. Ugh. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you. I don't think so. Let's go to the comments. The fact that Greta Thunberg is getting an honorary doctorate in theology tells a lot about education in the Western world. What? <laughs> what? I am a teacher in training in Germany. Grades aren't evil. They merely show you where you still need to put in more time and which skills you already mastered. Grades are basically only telling you your progress. That's great in a void if, it, if, if your grades weren't directly tied to your ability to be able to continue going to school. This generation has the most emotionally vulnerable and immature young adults in human history. Imagine them going through a Great Depression or a World War. Yeah, back in my day, we put an onion on my belt. I'm tr 21 and I'm pl I've started planning on how to homeschool my future non-existent children because of this crap happening in schools. Maybe you should focus on being able to have a partner by which you can actually have children instead of trying to plan the the conservative homeschooling of your children and your family that doesn't yet exist hmm my college is cucked they've refused to release a statement about a trans shooter or any crimes committed by trans people at all meanwhile every other shooting they write a five-page paper about it and email to everyone hmm are there any co colleges that aren't cucked well, apparently the college that your favorite person went to who said, oh, my college was great. I had a great experience going to college. I went to college. I, I went to college. Did you know that I went to college? Oh, my God. Oh, conservatives are, uh, oh, boy. Conservatives have a, a special, they have a special worldview. They have a worldview that truly, it, it's like, it's like, a, a, existing in a perpetual state of mental self-harm and it's so sad it would be so sad uh if people like brett Co cooper weren't like making money off of the misery of other people